Lynn Tolman is an avid cyclist. I'm a distance person, endurance, not speed. Some years ago, Tolman became aware of a celebrated cyclist from her own backyard who'd been all but forgotten. That was back in the 1990s, and it was coming up on the 100th anniversary of his world championship. He lived in Massachusetts most of his life, rose to the pinnacle of his sport, but had to fight uh, racism just to, get to, just to get to the starting line. In 1899, he crossed the finish line into the record books, becoming the first African-American world champion in any sport. He was a track cyclist. This was the most popular sport in the day. It was more popular than baseball, uh, giant crowds. He became world famous, the toast of Paris, traveled the world cycling, defeated every European champion, competed in Australia. This person really belongs in the pantheon with Jackie Robinson, Jesse Owens, Tommy Smith, Arthur Ashe. And he's very much admired not only for his athletic prowess, but also for his strength of character. His story recently featured in a Hennessy Cognac commercial. And in bronze. This is sculpted by Toby Mendez. This went up in 2008. It took about 10 years to raise the money. The local community was very generous, and then our state legislators got on board. We had a huge crowd here that day, like 400 people. So I think it's something the community is really, really proud of. Every July, there's a bike race on the street where he trained, the Heartbreak Hill for cyclists. This street has been a known challenge for cyclists ever since the 1890s bicycle boom. The record is 22 seconds and change. Who is this amazing athlete? Major Taylor, the fastest bicycle rider in the world. Are we in Worcester, Lawrence, or New Bedford? We are in Worcester at the Worcester Public Library. We have a cycling race that comes by the library every year, and we have a lot of resources uh, and history about Worcester and about Major Taylor. All right, what an incredible story mm -hmm. that is. And on February 27th, Lynn will actually be giving a talk about Taylor from 10 to 1130 at the Worcester Senior Center. It is free, but call ahead if you're interested in attending. And uh, Lynn Tolman, president of the Major Taylor Association, also told us that Major uh, was not his actual yeah. name. His actual name was Marshall, but he used to do bike tricks as a kid, <laughs> and he wore a military coat, yep. and people called him Major, and it stuck, and that was with him the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. All right, that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shana Seymour. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Good, Good night. night.